For practice it, exercise 2.3 Fibonacci, we are told that the Fibonacci numbers are a sequence of numbers in which the first two elements are 1. We are given the first 12 Fibonacci numbers here, and we need to write a piece of code that uses a for loop to compute and print the first 12 Fibonacci numbers. First, we are going to need our for loop. Inside of here, we're going to run it. Since we we're given 12 numbers, we're going to run it for i is equal to 0, and i has to be less than 12. And then we are going to have i++, plus plus, so it goes through all of the values. And inside of here, we are going to have our system.out.print line, where we are going to print whatever we get. Now, for a Fibonacci, we know that the first two numbers are going to add to equal this next number. And then these two numbers are going to add to equal this number. And then these next two numbers are going to add to equal this number. So we're going to need to declare two variables. We can call ints and we can call this add. And we're going to set it equal to zero. And then we'll say int result and set it equal to one, like this. And then the first thing we're going to print out is our result, like this. And then it's asking us for a space between each one. And it wants it on the same line, so we'll just do print instead of print line. Since we know that a Fibonacci sequence adds the first two numbers, or it adds two numbers to get the next number, we need to find a way to add these two numbers and store it into a value. So we'll say int temp like this, and we're going to set that equal to the addition of these two values. The two values that we have are add and result like this. After we do this, we want our add to be the next value. So that means add is going to equal result and result is going to equal the temporary value, which is add plus result. And if we do this every single time, we'll see that the first time, we're just going to print out one, because the first time we go through this loop, this loop result is just one, so we're printing out one here. And then we have int temp is equal to add plus result. So we have zero plus one, which, so one is stored in temp, add is equal to result, result is 1, so add is equal to 1, and result is equal to temp, which is 1. So when we run through this, since result is still 1, we are going to print out 1 again, which will give us this value. Now we need to print out 2. So we're going to have int temp is equal to add plus result, add is 1, and result is 1, so we're going to get 2 here, and then add is equal to result, result is 1, so add is equal to 1, and result is equal to temp, temp being equal to 2, we add these two together, and then we are going to get 3 as our next result. If we run this and submit it, we pass the test. And we need to know how a Fibonacci works to solve this problem.